The next concept that we're going to introduce is risk. Risk is defined as uncertainty that can have positive or negative outcome. If the outcome is positive, that is to say, they are helpful to business objectives of the organization. Such risks are called opportunity. Whereas if the outcome is negative, such risks are also called threat. Managing risk requires the identification and control of the exposures to risk, which may have an impact on the achievement of organization's business objectives. Every organization manages its risk. The aim is to support better decision. There are two distinct phases of risk, which are risk analysis and risk management. Risk analysis is concerned with gathering information about exposure to risk, so that the organization can make appropriate decisions and manage risk appropriately. Management of risk involves having processes in place to monitor risks. Access to reliable and up-to-date information about risks, the right balance of control in place to deal with those risks, and decision-making processes supported by a framework of risk analysis and evaluation. The aim of risk management is to reduce the impact of negative outcome and increase the impact of positive outcome. Management of risk covers a wide range of topics. Including business continuity management, or BCM, security, project risk management, and operational service management. Now we have covered the key concepts and principles of service strategy. We will take a look at the service strategy processes, that is to say, demand management, service portfolio management, and financial management in the next lessons.